So there's an author who wrote a book called Flow, and he had this theory of flow. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, so it's right here. Uh, but he's Italian, and um, he came up with this chart to uh, relate the challenge of an activity to the skill you have. Um, so just to start understanding how this graph works, um, so you're here. This is basically anyone who's just starting a new activity. So if we make a simple example of sports, and you have something like tennis, um, you've never played before. Uh, you just go out there with your buddy who also hasn't played before. Uh, you guys both have practically zero skill, and the challenge is zero because you guys are playing each other, and you're both no competition whatsoever. Um, so you start here. Um, so you would, if you were a person at, at this stage, you would plot yourself at this point on the chart. Um, I would say uh, 50 years later, you guys are both, you know, in Wimbledon. Um, you guys have the highest skill possible, and you're also facing the highest challenge. Um, so you're up here. Now, there's these areas um, to the left and right of this. Um, if you're here, uh, what this means is, well, you don't have a lot of skill, and suddenly you're facing a humongous challenge. So now you're, uh, you know, second time playing tennis, and suddenly you're playing a professional. Um, you're, you're in this zone, which is obviously not good. Um, we call this anxiety. So anything above the, the linear line, uh, right through the, the diagonal, is, is uh, putting you in a state where the challenge is too high for your skill level. Um, whereas if you're under, um, you have a lot of skill, uh, but you don't have much of a challenge. So now you're in the shoes of the, the pro playing a new. So here we have boredom. So Mihaly, um, suggests that these aren't um, optimal experiences um, in any aspect of life, uh, be it your work, uh, be it your uh, sports, your leisure, uh, your relationships. Uh, you don't want to be in these regions, but you want to stay in this line. And actually, the best thing he proposes is that you start any activity at the start, like uh, two times players, and you keep playing each other. So you play each other for a week. Uh, you guys both got better, and you guys got better at the same time, so your challenge is, is getting higher. And you keep going, and you keep going, now you've been playing for a year, you guys are both, you know, pretty good, and you both have about the same skill. But this is a humongous, um, dynamic um, momentum that's pushing you guys better and better at your activity. And uh, the author suggests that this is um, called the flow channel, and this is the way you should be approaching um, all of your activities in life.